Well, Rovers, the next big push on Wave Rover is to get this aft deck installed. My name's Alan Mulholland. I'm a solo sailor. And this is the story of how I built my Wave Rover 650. Three years ago, I refitted a 40-year-old Contessa 26 and took her on an amazing 7,800 nautical mile ocean voyage. We crossed the Atlantic twice, but a knockdown on the second crossing and COVID-19 put an end to my solo circumnavigation. So now, I'm building a new boat, smaller, lighter, but more suited for a solo circumnavigation. The Wave Rover 650. Ahoy Rovers! Well, the next big phase of the Wave Rover build will culminate in the deck, the aft deck going on. And that's the deck from the aft end of the cabin all the way to the transom. Now, before I can do that, we have ring frames and bulkheads that need to be complete. And then we need to get deck beams installed. This will be more than one video, but there's a lot to do. Time to crack on. Okay, so we're setting up the ring frames here. This is actually one that I fitted for the other side, but it's a good pattern to help me. They're not all identical, somehow. <laughs> well, it's because there's different, different ones. So this, I'll be adding a centimeter to that height. this end I'll just trace this one knowing that now I have to add a centimeter to that and follow the same angle you don't have to be dead on because an epoxy fillet will be filling this space and it's nice to have a little bit of space uh, for the fillet to squeeze in behind the wood. Okay, so now it's, uh, let me just finish that off. Okay, now it's out to the bandsaw. Okay, so we have the uh, bulkheads, uh, the start of them anyway, um, up and you can see what the fit looks like. It's pretty good. Now that little spot up there, that's just fine because we'll be filling that with an epoxy, a thickened epoxy fillet. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just going to put together one of these ring frames. Uh, what I've done is I've established some index lines with some little centers on them and done the same on the horizontal piece. So what I need to do then is just line those lines up, top and bottom, and then uh, just make sure the angle makes sense. Okay, and it does, and our lines all line up. Then, just going to drive a couple of little nails in here, and that's just to keep this from skating around once I put the glue on it. There's a little bit of bounce in our work surface. Okay, that's in far enough. And then we're going to put just a second nail in, and that's just to keep it from pivoting. That 
one's not even driven all the way through. I'll do that after the glue is on. Okay, so now here. Now I'll use more glue. I'm sure I'll get a few comments on this and I'm using too much glue, but I just want to make sure that I get really good squeeze out all the way around. And then I'll just clean up the excess glue. And this is tight bond three. Okay, so now we'll Okay, we found our line and We're looking good. Just tap this one in a bit. Oops, I think we moved. Okay, we're looking really good. I'm just going to take this inside the boat and take a real fast test fit. Okay, so I'm just back from test fitting this on the boat and the angle is good. It's locked in place. So I'm just going to clamp this down with a, with a big clamp and just make sure our joint is well bonded. There we go. We have a nice squeeze out all the way around. So now it's just a matter of cleaning that up and uh, just letting the glue set up and then we'll get on with the next step. All right. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to be adding a second layer to these so that they're really two layers thick right through. So I'm using the bevel to pick up that angle. I've transferred it now to this piece and then we'll just go over to the chop saw. Boom, set the chop saw, clearing protection. And back to our ring frame, do a test fit. And we're happy with that. That's a pretty good angle. Okay, and then just mark it. And then this one is all set to go, just for the glue up. So, we are just lining the second layer of these up and we're going to do our little trick again with the nails just to keep things from skating around and really nice and parallel okay now, I'll just mark this one so we know where to put the glue and get the glue on this one. Let's 
get this back where it belongs. And this is where the nail helps us get everything lined up. Looking good. Let's check that. Just a close up of the the glue line. You can see with this weight it's doing a great job. Well it's all glued up and now it's just a matter of shaping it, uh, getting rid of some of the excess ply of course uh, I've got to knock down this glue before I can work it and then uh, we'll go do a test install I'm gluing up the other two as we speak uh, by the time I get these first two worked I've already done the first one this is what we're what we're going to be looking at you can see right here I've done a bit of a round over cleaned up all the glue the joints look pretty good um, it's nice and solid. I'm pretty darn happy with how these turned out. All right, time to crack on. Well, what we're looking at here is the starboard ring frame and I have it installed and as you can see well let's take a close look at the joint um, you know that's what we want to see we want to see a nice little gap and then that gap is going to get filled with our with our fillet and we come over and you can see this piece of uh, construction oriented strand board right here that's our template for the camber of the deck and I don't know if you can pick it up but there's a curve there and we're going to transfer that curve to the ring frame and then cut that before we install it so let's just get a bit of an overview here of what the two sides look like and bear in mind a lot of this stuff is just straightening the plywood until I can lock it in place but there's the there's a ring frame on the port side Okay, so we have the frames uh, just sort of clamped into position. I'm about to tack them in with a little bit of epoxy. So uh, you're, getting, you're getting a feeling for what I've done here through a combination of clamps and uh, weights down here. I've managed to hold them in place and you can see uh, they're pretty firm they're firm enough that I'll be able to tack them in place and I'm going to do all four at the same time we've got two over on this side now one thing I'd like to draw your attention to is take a look at the space I mean you try to imagine this that's that's tremendous space in the core well you know in the main bunk below the deck like the deck will come to just on top of these frames that I'm installing now but this enclosed area of the bunk is still incredibly generous lots and lots of space so this is just one pumps worth of resin and also I've mixed in some microfibers so I'll just uh, make a little cut and now we're ready to tack everything in place Well, it's the next day. I've just removed the clamps. Let's just take a look at what uh, happened yesterday. And I'm actually very, very happy with it. The ring frames are now secured. You can see I'm pushing them here. So they're secured well enough. 
They're in their proper positions, as you can see with the little black marks. And I'll put a proper fillet on them today. There's a couple of other little things I need to do, and that will happen in this central area. I need to get a bulkhead, uh, well, you know, a continuation of a bulkhead straight across here to connect these two major bulkheads together. And I also need to get a secondary small one across at a point where the back of the main companionway hatch will exist. Anyway, a lot to do. Time to crack on. Okay, so the fillets are now hard and I've unclamped some of the other work. We're just getting ready to put the fiberglass on, but let's take a close look at these fillets and just see how they've turned out. I'd have to say those are really, really nice. And, you know, it's, it's in part experience and just reasonably good working conditions and always try to be neat. That's the key to these nice fillets. And we'll just take a look over here. Got some more there. Okay, well, overall very happy and time to glass. Mrs. Rover is has just arrived. I'd like to take a moment to honor the Wave Rover benefactors. So what is a benefactor? Well, these folks have made a contribution of $100 US or more to the project, and their names will be affixed to a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will be traveling with me on our circumnavigation. Now these donations truly are much appreciated. Well, I'm really happy with the way the ring frames went in and it just brings us that much closer to getting ready to deck over that surface. Now, in the next video, I'll be putting these longitudinal structural pieces that'll run from the transom all the way to the aft end of the cabin. And that's in anticipation of putting the plywood deck down over top of that. Anyway, Rovers, as always, thanks for watching. Well, the Wave Rover patrons, with their pledges of support, really do make the creation of these videos possible. Now, if you'd like to know more about Wave Rover's patron page and Benefactor's Bulkhead, I have links to both those pages in the video description. Now, another way to help Wave Rover, and it doesn't cost you a dime, is by sharing our content on your social media. So now, as always, Rovers, thanks for watching. Give us one more. Brilliant.